Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purposes. Something is about to happen from October upwards to 2023. There's going to be heavy killings in this land. The terrorists that you people are hearing is about to move, come up in a high level. They want to do it any moment from now. And they want to shoot, invade villages. Politicians are in problem because they will begin to kidnap them one after the other. And not just to kidnap and demand for ransom and leave them, they will kill them. Because they want to take over what? The land. There are a group of people that believe that Nigeria belongs to them. And the Lord said, this time they are coming. Starting from this ember that people have started from October. The reason why they are going to do it, things have changed the way they want it. They planned it that the whole article will take the power. They first of all wait for PDP to do their primaries so that they, are, they will nominate article and the APC they will know how to do it but something happened now Obi now came out first in history in Nigeria that the election is now Wazobia have you had such before first in history that somebody from the north is coming out somebody from the west is coming out somebody from the east is coming out can't you see that something is happening and the person from the east is making a wave. Like I said here before, that the Lord said that APC will die. Isn't that what I said here? That the APC will do what? If you are a spirit now, you know that APC will die. Number one, picking Muslim, Muslim is over. That they will have crisis and they will die. Today they have Muslim, Muslim ticket is over. And I told you that I saw a new party. And that new party that are about to fight. The boys in the street now, are you not seeing the way they are attacking people? If you talk against them, if you talk against OB, you, the threat you are going to receive will show you that what I told you, how many months ago, that they are ready to do what? Fight. They are ready to do what? Fight. And now the, the, the people, the cabals have seen that the power have changed. You know, before, that's what they deliberately do. Before the election, they begin to kill people. Before the election, the day of election, even in Lagos here, you will see the talks will move around and harass people. That early morning of election, they will give light, the steady light. You as an evil man will not like to go out. You that day you go and hire him already. Am I lying? You will be in the house. Go and buy cat fish. Your wife will cook for you. And then I do for Now they have seen that people are not ready to stay at home. That day, if you give light, people are coming out. Ebos are marching out. Youths of Yorubas are coming out. Youths of North are coming out. And if you bring your tongues to fight them, they will fight back. And after the election, they will not like to announce who won the election. Who won the election. They will try to give it to somebody else. A revolution will start. Revolution will start in another form. The fight coming is not going to be fight of Ebos again. <laughs> Are you getting the point? The fight will not be Ebos anymore. The fight, the army will not be able to control it. Police cannot control it. Are you going to control the one in Imo State? Are you, getting Are you the going point? to control the one in Kalabar? The fight will not be Igbos anymore. The fight, the army will not be able to control it. Police cannot control it. 
Are you going to control the one in Nemo State? Are you going to control the one in Calabar? Are you going to control the one in Taraba? Are you going to control the one in uh, Nasarawa? Are you going to control the one? You will see that the youth will overnumber the army and police. And the country will go down. Now they have seen it. The next thing they will do is for the terrorists in the army and the other people to, to come out and begin to kill people. To come out and take over the country any moment from now. Another thing, the election may, under probability, it may not hold. Because something will happen before the election. Fear will be so much. And that is where we come in as a prophet of God. I told you that the time like this will come. I told you, are you telling me that there will be that coming? So, so, so there. The Lord ministered to me and said something. I want you to stand up wherever you are. On 27th of this month, God said to me, Prophet Williams, around 7.47 in the morning, I heard clearly from Jehovah. He said, Cause one Nigeria. Church, I want to ask you a question. If you are in my shoe, what will you do? I want to hear your voice. I, I can't hear you very well. If you are my shoe, you will do what? Obey God, right? God said I should do it. And the Lord began to tell me that our people died before the war. From 1966, our people have been massacred in Jaws, killed in Northern. 1967, our people that are coming from the North, we are ambushed from the train, slaughtered them. Even pregnant women, they will rip out their babies from their womb, rip it out. And the Lord began to show me something. That they come to our land with jet bomber, begin to bomb schools where people are going to take relief. They were bombing every corner, killing civilians. To wipe away the Igbo race. A man called Kasena Lassel is going to kill everybody there. The Lord said, All these years have given them time. This is one thing that nobody wants to say. It. Nobody wants to hear it. We were killed. I know a lot of people, our people, we are taken to Gabon because oh, Bongo, Gabon gave our people refuge that time, gave us. Africa, we are assisting us. Tanzania, also, we are assisting us. Our youth, men and women, we are taken to Gabon. Most of them did not return back to our land today. A lot of people died in Pashoka. Matrician, no food. Over 3 million youth, little children, we are died in Biafra War. But all these years, this is what God was revealing to me on Tuesday. Which 27 that all these years you have given time for pastors in Nigeria, for leaders in Nigeria, for people in Nigeria to say these people that we killed in number, we starved them. Some people gave order to make sure the food did not come to the east. Our people died. Our people were killed. No media, no international community, because Queen was alive. She suppressed every media. Now, on 27, the Lord said, Cause one Nigeria. If you are in my situation, the Lord began to show me a lot of things. That a country that the president died, they had it. Why? Was, did that, that one alone is enough to destroy this country. If they can hide such things because of the word, one Nigeria. Investment. Nigeria is an investment for some people. And they took somebody, innocent person, Carlo, that we are busy in Namde. Carlo, that we are busy preaching for liberation of his people. They went all the way to Kenya, kidnapped him, put him in DSS. Last week or last week, they said his health is. If anything happened, nothing will happen to him. Okokoya, you will see that even all the land in Nigeria will be perished because, yes, you will see anger. You will see people. Men that are outside that you have not seen, you will see them. 
Because everybody will stand and let us do it once and for all. That is why God said to me that I should cause this country, I should cause this one Nigeria from today, no, no more one Nigeria that can repair this country.